Okay, what's up guys? It's me, your badass host, Raven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we managed to defeat our good old buddy, uh, what was it, Winona, for the sixth badge, and of course, again, I'm gonna get, uh, attacked by, you know, the phone and all that stuff, the unmentionable uh, phone and all. But yes, we got our sixth badge, and now it is time for us to go to Lily Cove Town, or City. I don't know, I always mistake them, the two. Lily Cove City and all that stuff to uh, take care of business over there. And, well, I just realized a little something something, and that is... Yeah, we need, uh, we need a Pokeblock case, because we want to go into the Safari Zone. That's always a fun place to go to, right? Yes. So, yes, the Safari Zone will be next... As, as long as we get the, the, the what you might call it, the case. And, well, as you guys can see, I'm getting attacked by a Kegleon, but no, no biggie. And, well, let's go ahead and grab this. We found ourselves a Nest Ball. That right there is always a plus, having extra Pokeballs and all that stuff. And what else? Oh, yes. Well, it's an easier trip for us just because we've already defeated every single one of these trainers right here. Going into, I would like to say... Hmm, I would like to say near Lily Cove and all that stuff, so that's where we're going to be going first. There's somebody waiting for us, and yes, I'm going to go through the whole grassy area because, well, I, I just don't care anymore. I, I, I am invincible. I defeated everybody. Not really, but, you know, I don't really care about the Pokemon right now. Since I already caught some of these Pokemon here, too, now I cannot wait going, uh, going into the Safari Zone because in Pokemon Emerald, you're going to be seeing some new things later on in this whole walkthrough. As always, and crud. And, uh, well, yeah. I, I really, really wish I could go into the, uh, whatchamacallit, the Safari Zone right now, but not not right now. Anywho, let's see. What else? What else? Oh, yes, we got some stuff to uh, to take care of right here, too. And that is, uh, we gotta meet up with our, our girlfriend, uh, May. Good thing is that we have already healed up our Pokemon, so there she is waiting for us patiently. How you doing, girl? Because I missed ya. And what we're gonna be doing... If memory serves me correctly, I'm gonna go with Hadouken right here. And we're gonna be going up against our girlfriend. She's gonna be like, Oh, hey, Draven, are you shopping too? I bought a, a whole bunch of to uh, dolls and posters. Of course, I've also caught a lot of Pokemon and I'm raising them properly too. Actually, I'm more worried if you're raising your Pokemon properly, Draven. I'll battle with you so you can show me your Pokemon, Draven. Sure, why not? Okay, now, my, my, my biggest beef with this whole thing right here too is if you've caught yeah if you've caught so many pokemon where the heck are they i'm just being serious okay so here she's coming out with a tropius this pokemon right here is both flying and grass type and it's a pretty cool pokemon to actually have it's actually one of the pokemon i wanted to use if i was using uh, well actually i probably wouldn't have been using tropius because uh, yeah <laughs> you got breloom and Breedaloom, as many of you guys already know, is one of my favorite grass types of all time. So, let's go right ahead and switch it up to Vesuvius right here. And, well, what's up, Vesuvius? Ah, the evasiveness is gonna go down. So, let's go with a little Rock Slide. And believe it or not, because of its flying capabilities, Rock Slide is super powerful. It's super effective. And yes, it's flinched. So, let's finish this Pokemon off with an Ember Attack. Yes! And just like that... Tropius has been defeated, and bam, Vesuvius gets the level 37 and is learning Earthquake. And yes, sir, I'm gonna I'm gonna take you up on that. I'm gonna switch it uh, for the magnitude and all that stuff. So there you go. Look at that Earthquake attack. Okay, so let's see. Combuskin is coming out. Hmm. Let's go with Joust. I know that it's a risk using Joust, just because this Pokemon right here is the, uh, you know, fighting type Pokemon, but you know what's sad for me is that it is two levels short from evolving, and uh, that would have been a cool thing, but as many of you guys already know, we're going to be seeing Kabuskin, or we're going to be seeing May later on in Pokemon Alpha, Alpha Zapfire, yeah, we're going to be doing that with a much more powerful team, kind of, you know, kind of sucks that, it did, yeah, she doesn't have a powerful team here, so let's go right ahead and switch your good old buddy Hadouken right here. Let's go. Alrighty. So, let's see what happens right here. Here's Ludiculo. 
And, well, let's go right ahead and go for a Dragon Claw right here. But this Nature Power is going to hit us with a Swift. And, well, here comes a Dragon Claw. And, well, let's see, let's see. Oh, wow. <laughs> it seems that Hadouken still needs a lot of work. We need to evolve this Pokemon. It is 13 levels away from actually evolving and then actually becoming a Flying-type Pokemon and all that crud. So... Here comes another swift attack, it will never miss, but this Dragon Claw right here, hits it! For the win, a critical hit, yes. There you go, say goodbye to Lulakudo, and bam! Level 38, and it is learning Dragon Breath, so this could be a good addition to our little repertoire right here. And let's see, you know what, I'm gonna go, hmm. You know, for right now, I'm gonna go with uh, Double Team. Eventually, I'm gonna reteach these Pokemon, these new moves and all that stuff. We're gonna have Hadouken ready to go in all that crud. So, there we go. And here comes Pelipper. So let's go right ahead and go with the savior of this team. Our good old buddy, Raiden. Alrighty. Let's go, Raiden. Let's do it. Bring it. Let's go. Thunderbolt! And, well, there's Protect and, uh... It's always fun right there, so yeah. Okay, so never mind. All right, let's go. Thunderbolt for the win. There it is. And that is how you do it. And say goodbye to Pelipper. Okay, so Pelipper defeated. And well, that right there is the final battle against our good old buddy, our girlfriend, May. And she's like, I remember the battle I had with you, uh, Draven, on Route 103. That battle helped you become this strong, Draven, didn't it? Not really. I've always been strong. I've just been, uh, you know. I've been with it for quite some time, and May's gonna be like, I'm thinking of going back to Little Root soon. I've got a decent group of Pokemon, and my Pokedex is coming along, so I'm going home to show my dad. Draven, what are you going to do? Collect all the gym badges and uh, take on the Pokemon League Challenge? Yes. Well, while you're collecting badges, Draven, I'm going to work on my Bogodex. I'll complete, uh, I'll complete, or I'll complete it before you. See you. Yeah, sure. Okay, so here we are, at Lily Cove, and well, this place is a, uh, well, this place is very, very big for us because this place has the move deleter, which will actually help us uh, delete some moves that we don't need. And I think, uh, yeah, that that guy's not nothing right there. So let's go into the uh, Pokemart right here, and this is just like the Celadon City, or yeah, the Celadon City, Goldenrod City of of uh, Pokemon of Ruby and Emerald. They, you can find a whole bunch of stuff, department store. And uh, well, this person right here sells quite a few stuff, but I need to go ahead and buy myself some TMs because you know how Draven is. He needs some TMs. This person obviously sends out uh, Pokeballs, Ultra Balls, you know, that kind of stuff. And well, let's see. What do you have here? Come on. Nope, you got the X, and I'm, I'm assuming the other person right there is the vitamin, the vitamin shop person. So let's go straight up to the next floor right here. And let's see, welcome, how may I serve you? And yes, she sells TMs, TM 17, 20, 33, and 16. So I'm gonna try and buy one of each. That way, you know, we can have him in the store, and we can probably give him off to some Pokemon for more strategic battles and all that stuff. As you guys can see, we got light screen, barrier, uh, safeguard, and I believe one of them is protect, which is pretty cool. And this lady right here sends out the attacks, and what she has right here is TM 38, 25, 14, and 15, which 38 is fire blast, 25 is thunder, 14 is blizzard, and then TM 15 is good old freaking hyper beam. So we're gonna buy one of each as well, you know, because we, uh, we need to get these Pokemon all strong and all that stuff. There we go. There we go. And... Boom. And this one. Boom. And... There you go. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. Holding many TM moves. The catalog I read is 50 different kinds, which eventually, you know, later on, you get more. And here we have the souvenir shop. Or not much of a souvenir shop, but this is the place where you can actually buy some items for your secret base, which, well, you guys already know. We're not going to be doing that pretty soon. We're not going to be doing that at all. Maybe. I don't know. And, well, let's see. Hmm. Don't they have a set dates for their clear-out sales? I watch TV, but they never show up in any commercials. Yes, this place right here... Uh, you can actually buy some, uh, special items right around here. 
up in the roof on certain days. I cannot remember what days are. And well, this lady right here will teach your Pokemon Substitute. And well, let's see. What kind of Pokemon will learn Substitute? Every single one of these guys. You know what? I'm going to keep her on standby because I kind of need her for later on. Might be using that substitute for something different and all that crud. So, let's go right ahead and find ourselves... Let's go ahead and find ourselves that, that case, that Pokeball block case so we can go into the Safari Zone. So, let's go right down here. And, bam. Look at that. Floor number one. Now, next door to the department store right here is of is obviously the Museum of Art. Yes. And if you win a uh, well a contest, your Pokemon's portrait will be on to, onto that place. And when it comes down right to it, I don't know what this guy means, but there's T. There we go. We get ourselves our person berry. And bam! Yes, we are a trainer. So, let's see. We're gonna go right here. Hmm. You know of a pe uh, peculiar cavern in this cove that had been a natural formation, but then that Team Aqua uh, came along and made their renovations. They call it themselves a nature-loving uh, Team Aqua, but what the hell they do is they... It doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't match. None of their stuff matches right here. And as you guys can see, we can't go uh, east right here because, you know, there's some Whelmers on the way. This guy right here is like, well, there, Whelmer! Leap out and water out. Huh. Yeah, messing with his training. So you mean to tell me... Team Aqua actually trains, and then right around this corner, you'll find Team Aqua's, uh, Team Aqua's uh, lair, which we will be getting later. There is a Pokeball right there, and I think there is something right here that you could actually find that could be of use. We're right here, and we found ourselves a Heart Scale. As many of you guys already know, Heart Scales are very rare. You can only find them on uh, Love Disc and all that stuff, or just outside. And rocks and, and everything, but they can be used to what you might call it. Uh, they can be used uh, to trade for, po well, trade to a certain person so they could teach you different moves that your Pokemon may have learned or still, you know, may, may, may want to learn. Now, here we are in the contest hall. In Pokemon Emerald, there's only one contest hall, and it's right here. In Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, you'll you'll find and you'll find them in different locations, and they will be in the locations that you'll find the battle tents right here in Emerald has just been replaced. Now, if you talk to this person, this is the reception corner for the Pokemon contest. Oh, it appears that you don't have a Poke uh, block case yet. In that case, we need you to uh, we need to provide you with this. Bam. Yeah. Don't think that I haven't gone to the Safari Zone without knowing this. Yeah, I already found out about that, but yes, the Poke block case can be used to hold Pokeblocks, and yeah, I am not going into the Pokemon uh, contest just yet, but the way you make Pokeblocks is by going into these machines right here towards the corner, and the amount of people that you get, the better the berry will be. I could be wrong, and there is my phone. Holy crud. Okay, so let's go right ahead and go with uh, this one. Oh dear, you look like, uh, you look as if you're good at blending. Would you like to join us? Sure. Oh dear, naturally, you uh, you know how to make uh, Pokeblocks, don't you? Yes, I do. Okay, dear, let's get it started. Let's Berry Blender. So right here, you're gonna go into the bag, and you're gonna find one berry of your own, and then you're gonna be getting it mixed with everybody else's. So I'm gonna go with a Nana berry, since you know we do have uh, quite a few of them. What ends up happening is that, you know, wherever the counter is, or wherever the pointer is, if you hit it, then, that, I guess that's a positive score, so as you guys can see, I got a triple. It goes faster and faster, so there we go. And look at that. Oh my god. Oh wow. <laughs> oh wow, we're... <laughs> look at that, okay. Oh wow, I'm getting a lot of X's right here. That can't be good for me. And once it's filled, as you guys can see, Laddie got the most uh, consistent circles right there. So she's probably going to get the better berry. And the results of the blending were the Aspir berry from Laddie. Lassie gave us cherry berry. We gave a, na a Nana berry. And Miss gave a Pekka berry or Petra berry. Of course, the maximum speed is 89.31 uh, RP RPMs. And it was only 22 seconds. And as you guys can see, we get a, po a purple Poke Block. And it will be at level 11, and the field is 19. So we're gonna be, we're just gonna be right there. Now, there is an individual in the Hoenn region that can 
They can actually, uh, well, they can actually detect what berries your Pokemon like, now the, the or the blocks. The other thing, too, is you can use the Poke Blocks in the Safari Zone, which is probably a good thing that, you know, we got, we got one of them out, just because, you know, we kind of need that, and that should have, yeah, that should have served a purpose right there. So, let's see, what else? Anything else? There's nothing else right here. There's a contest hall. There's houses right here. And here is the harbor for which will eventually be the SS title. So, I think that's pretty much it right there for this place, guys. So, let's go right ahead and go into the safari zone and see what we can actually find. I'm pretty sure we can actually find a, a, an interesting Pokemon here and there. Uh, eventually... I am going to be trading some of the... Or I'm, I'm actually going to try and capture some of these Pokemon back-to-back. Uh, -back. That way I can trade them over to Pokemon Fire Red. I do that, then bam, you know, we get a little bit more of a Pokedex. All that fun stuff right here. So here we are in the Pokemon Safari Zone. And what we need to do now is we need to talk to this guy. And like always, welcome to the Safari Zone. Just for 500 Poke Dollars. Yes. Okay. So there we go. 30 Safari Balls, and we'll let you know when the game is over. And have fun on the excursion right here. Okay, so here we are in the Safari Zone, and in Pokemon Emerald, it's a little bit different than Ruby and Zapphire. One thing's for sure, there are extra areas that you can actually find right here. Where these guys are, well, where these guys are located, that's for the extra stuff later on once you defeat the Elite Four. As of right now, you can only capture a certain amount. So, let's go right ahead and see what Pokemon we can find. As you guys can see, bam, we found ourselves a giraffe rig. Let's go right ahead and throw a Pokeball at it because, well, you know, that's how we do. And... There we go. That's right, throwing out that peace sign. I am that dang good. That's right. Okay, so that's a Pokemon that we just caught. And here we have Giraffe Rig, the long neck Pokemon. A Giraffe Rig is a herbivore. It eats grass in three shots, or three shoots. While it is eating, its tail makes chewing and swallowing motions as if it were also eating. Okay, cool, fantastic. Yeah, we're not going to use this Pokemon. So what we're going to try and do here is we're going to try and capture as many Pokemon as possible. As you guys can see, you can go into different locations right here. And it all depends on what kind of bike you have. They also have slopes where your mock bike can actually go. And, well, here we are in another location. And I'm going to not... Well, I'm trying not to waste my time. I'm going to capture one Pokemon each. And here we're going to find ourselves a Fanfy. There we go. Fanfy. All right, so let's go ahead and throw that Safari Ball. And... Well, let's see. Nope. And this Fanfy is not having it. Now, another thing too is you can actually throw a Poke Block at these Pokemon so it can get closer and make it easier for you to, to capture them. Me, I try not to bother with it because, well, eventually you'll find that one Pokemon, that double, that will be easier to capture, so yeah. Why waste that? And there we go. Damn it, Fanfy! And, well, the odds... The other thing too, yeah, the odds of uh, trying to figure out what Pokemon or what kind of color this Pokemon likes is... It's pretty high, and yeah, I'm not gonna do that. So there we go, guys. We cut ourselves a fan fee. Yeah, how do you like us? How do you like that? Okay, so here we go. Fanfy, the long nose Pokemon. Fanfy's big ears serve as a broad or as broad fans. When it becomes hot, it flaps the ears, uh, busily or busily, busily to cool down. Even the young are very strong, which I do believe. And well, I'm not giving this Pokemon a nickname or anything like that, so. We're gonna have that, and well, let's go right ahead and go into the next area right here. And I thought that was gonna be some like missing item or something, but you can find some pretty rare Pokemon. Her uh, what well, Heracross is one of them, and well, I'm definitely gonna, yeah, I'm trying not to do that. So let's go right ahead and run away. And well, let's see what we got right here. Another Fanfy, leave me the heck alone, okay. So, yeah, I'm definitely not going to go up against a fan right here because I already caught one. I might as well not waste my time. You can use a Pokemon with Rock Smash to get through this place. And here we found a Pokeball, which we'll, I'll eventually get to. And seriously, hey, right, speed button. See what I mean, guys? You can capture Pokemon anytime. And, well, let's see. Pikachus, you can actually find in the first area, but they're going to be very rare. 
And what do we find right here? Another, yeah, another Fanfy. Seriously, Fanfies love me. Okay. So, yeah, we got Oddish. Yeah, we're not going to do that. Okay, so let's go right ahead and see if we can actually get out of this location in time for, you know, to show off another place. Obviously, off screen, I'm going to look, I'm going to look everywhere and capture as many Pokemon as possible, including some of our old team members. And here we have a Doduo, okay. Alright, we can capture a Doduo right here. Level 25. 25 Pokeballs right here. And no, this Doduo does not like us, okay. I'm gonna go throw a Safari Ball. Now, I kinda wonder why we don't have, like, uh, rocks to throw at it. I would like to throw a rock at a uh, Pokemon who's being, uh, who's being a you know what. And well, here we go. Let's get it. Come on, stay in the ball. Damn it! Okay, you know there's insurance where you go, like well, when you come with us, right? Pokey insurance. Let's go. There's one. There's two. There's three. Trust issues away. There we go. We cut ourselves a third Pokemon. And there you go. Alrighty. So here we have Doduo, the long heads Pokemon. I'm just playing the twin bird Pokemon. Even while eating or sleeping, one of the heads remains always vigilant for any sign of danger. When threatened, it flees at 60 miles per hour. That is, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's a, that, that's a very, very fast Pokemon right there. All right, let's see what else we can actually find right here. Going into the next zone right here, and, well, we can't go anywhere right there. So what is this? Really? Okay, so this is the rest house. I wonder what, well, I wonder what this has right here. Just Pokemon trainers. If you put a Pokeblock on the feeder, the Pokemon will be attracted to it. I think Pokemon with the same sort of nature are drawn to the certain Pokeblock. Okay. And if you guys can provide uh, that list, you can comment down below. I don't have any Pokeblocks, but I caught a good number of Pokemon. You can improve your chances of making a catch by cl by getting closer to them before throwing a Pokeball. Oh, yeah, we can do that. If you use Pokeblocks, wild Pokemon uh, won't be so quick to run away. It's not much use to give Pokeblocks to Pokemon that don't flee easily. Huh. So that makes sense. Okay. But I'm still going to capture every single Pokemon. I always manage to capture everything. Like, uh... Yeah. <laughs> I always manage to capture every Pokemon I can, so it's not big it's not a big issue. So that right there, guys, has been this episode of, you know, both Lilico City and the Safari Zone. In the next episode, we're gonna be going into the Team Aqua Cave and we're gonna be starting up the whole, you know, shebang of uh you know, Team Aqua and Team Magma being env environmentalists and all that stuff. So, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being as supportive as it can be. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Emerald Walkthrough. See you guys.